Yes, please. I did a poem called Environment. Can you share that with us? Yes, please. Okay, let's listen. In the beginning, God created heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and empty. And when creation's story was over, flora and fauna, the plants and animal lives that dazzled the eyes were defeated to man. I touch your bones, Oduma Kuma Bwati, bless you. Bless us with his bounties. Now abandon the Yama Asase for in this way. Why are we destroying the environment, the distractions, and the depletion of our resources, such as air, water, and our wildlife, to stop now? Let us save our Ramsey South to prevent extinction from endangered species. We are building on waterways, but we see nothing wrong with it. You, you, I am talking to you. If the environment has a mouth, she will speak. So Asasi saw one now in Chobakasa. You see green rivers bustling with aquatic lights and you pollute them with chemicals and machines. A call to action is now. The rains that comes, even though it is not her season, comes in torrents. When it's time for the sun, it gives out its best heat as if it wants to devour its prey. Climate change, global warming, and ozone depletion are beckoning. The garbage you threw into the gutter last night, you knew it wasn't right, but you never bothered. If the environment has a mouth, she will speak. So Asasi Sawana in Chobakasa. Over a period of 100 years, Ghana has lost 80% of its forest cover. Yes, you heard me right. 80% of our forest cover is gone. Fishermen are now catching more plastics than fishes. If the environment has a mouth, she will speak. So, Asasi, so why not? Enjoy.